had been given an exclusive invite to Trek's headquarters to see just how Trek is trying to change the world one bike at a time. You can see out here very exclusive things, bikes that aren't developed yet, that yep. people are out here testing. What started as a small, family-run business Nobody had high-end bicycles that were made in America. Has grown into a global powerhouse, selling more than 1.5 million bikes a year. You're going to take us through how these frames get made. Absolutely. Walk you all the way through the process. Whether you're a world champion. She's flying. Look at her go. Or a commuter. A mountain biker. People are showing me jumps that I'm not going off of. Or a road racer. Trex got you covered. But things weren't always this nice. From the brink of collapse. The first challenge I had to overcome was survival. <laughs> it was like brutal. To the center of one of cycling's biggest scandals. Trek has survived adversity to cement itself as a market leader in innovation. I mean, building carbon fiber bikes in the early 90s, that was a technological feat. Equality. Since the moment that they decided to start a women's team, they also really give us the same things as a man. And sustainability. There was a lot of materials out there that were available to us that were not only sustainable, but they would also meet some of the performance requirements that we had. Our mission is to only build awesome products that we love, provide incredible hospitality to our customers, and change the world by getting more people on bikes.